In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how you become a professional YouTuber. Now, I'm actually not a professional YouTuber. It's just something that I enjoy doing. But what I'm going to explain to you is how much it actually entails to become a professional YouTuber. Now, I've just recently hit over a thousand subscribers, which I'm very, very thankful for. Thank you, everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you all so much, and I appreciate the support as well. For anybody who's not aware, I am a guitarist that likes to, I just like to play guitar, to be honest with you, and I like to give advice here and there where I can with regards to the guitar and playing it and how you can actually better yourself as a guitar player as well. I'm a professional guitarist, that is what I do for a living. I'm not a professional YouTuber, I don't earn anything from YouTube, but from posting consistently from the, for the past one year, I've learned a lot about YouTube and from researching a lot as well with regards to certain YouTubers that are professional YouTubers that earn a very good living from it as well, actually. The first thing, if you want to become a professional YouTuber, is you have to dedicate a lot of time to it. Not a little bit, a lot of time. So the editing side of it takes up a lot of your time. Some people can spend eight to 10 to 12 hours editing one video. You've got to remember when you're sat there with a camera recording in your face, like I am now, and I try to do everything in one take where I don't edit it. We'll find out if I do on this one. You'll see the chops if I do. You've got to remember when you sat there with that camera in front of your face that every now and then you're going to make slurs with your language or mistakes or you're going to say something in a certain way where it just doesn't make sense and you have to edit that out and make it into slightly smaller form so that it makes a little bit more sense otherwise your videos will end up being four hours long and people won't watch them because they won't understand what you're saying because it takes so, so long for you to say it so first of all to become a professional YouTuber, you have to have the time available to be able to edit it. The next thing, you have to have the time available to be able to plan your videos as well. So what I mean by this is, think about what you're good at and what you want your videos to be about. I love the guitar. I want my videos to be about the guitar. I'm not too bothered about becoming a professional YouTuber. I'm a professional musician already. Like, that's my main thing. YouTube is just something that I enjoy doing. Like, I love spreading the knowledge about the guitar to other people. What are you good at? Are you good at building a wall? If you're good at building that wall, plan your videos around being able to build that wall. How is that wall made? What is that wall made from? How do you make what that wall is made from? Yeah, make, made from even. And then how do you create, how do you put everything together to create that thing that that wall is made from? Like there's, uh, there's loads of different content that you could create, <coughs> excuse me, from that one topic of how is that wall made? You could help so many people out. Everybody is after learning. Basically, my whole concept of YouTube is that it's one of the best learning tools in the world. Another thing of how people become professional YouTubers as well, this is something that you kind of want to be aware of. I've realized that like, I'm completely aware of this now. After watching so many videos and posting to YouTube myself so much over the past year, and I've been completely enjoying doing that as well. I'm, I'm not trying to sell anything at all, just so that anybody knows, everybody knows. Um, 
but this is something that I would like to make everyone aware of. A lot of you professional YouTubers, they don't actually make their money from the ad revenue. They make it from the stuff that they sell with subliminally within their videos. So if you watch a lot of YouTubers' videos, you'll notice they'll do a little bit of casual name dropping within their videos. Where they're, oh, do, they'll mention something. Let's say, for instance, it's a, a a vocal coach, for instance, a singing coach. They'll be talking about a certain topic within their video, and then at a really random point. Oh, I t yeah, and I talk about this um, in my such and such a course. You can check that out in the link in the description below. If you go through to it, you'll get seven days free trial. After that, it's such and such amount per month. That is where a lot of professional YouTubers actually make their series money is by you clicking on that free trial and forgetting about that Oh, that you subscribe to that free trial and before you know it you become a subscriber and you're locked in for a year to subscription with them so just be aware of that but also that is also a way that people become that you can become a um, a YouTube professional as well it does work as long as it's good knowledge that you give then that's completely there's nothing wrong with that as well, but be aware that some people do sell some really bad knowledge. As well. I actually find that nine out of 10 people that sell these stuff in videos where you get these free trials or free PDFs, I actually find a lot of the time that a lot of that stuff is coming from people that do not have an absolute clue about what they are talking about. So yeah, if you want to be become a professional YouTuber, not that I am one because I'm not, find a topic is first of all. Be consistent is the second thing. Care about your com community is the next thing. Like I say, I'm completely thankful of every single subscriber that I have. <laughs>